Hey everybody, this is Scott from InternetSafetyCenter.com here. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at Facebook here. Uh, the reason why we're going to look at Facebook today is because we want to look at the security settings inside of Facebook. Uh, you know over the last couple months Facebook has come out with um, you know a lot of new safety features and stuff like that for for the social networking site, but a lot of people have actually sent us emails and stuff like that going, we don't understand what's, what, the, what these new security features mean, what they say, we're not sure what to set them as and stuff like that. So today, what we're going to do is simply just look at Facebook, look at the new security features, and I'm going to show you what we believe is the safest actually settings you can actually put on your Facebook profile here. So all I went ahead and did is went up to Facebook here and I created a brand new account. I haven't touched the account yet. Uh, I've done nothing but simply, you know, enter my information in and hit OK. And then I confirm the account. So as you can see, there is nothing on this page uh, uh, except for a birthday that's on there, but that's completely fake. I just kind of made that up. Um, no pictures or anything like that, and I called myself Jim Juker. I don't know why, that's just what I came up with. So anyways, what we're going to do here is look at the security settings. If you, if you, um, if you have a Facebook account, you know, again, it doesn't matter if you just created one or you've had one for years, all these settings are identical. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to account and we're going to look at privacy settings this is where you want to go. Now, the first thing you're going to do is click on profile information. Now, this is kind of the main body of a lot of the stuff on your profile. And number one here, for some reason, we have no idea why Facebook thinks this is actually wise, the security and safety features here. I mean, this is just atrocious if you ask us. I mean, this is just awful. So basically, let's, let's go through these. So it says about me. So, you know, the description about you and your profile, what you ever put there, and see how it says everyone? That means it's, it is exposed to the entire Internet. Anybody with an Internet connection could see that information about you on your Facebook page. Same way about your personal information, your interests, activities, and favorites. Uh, now, your date of birth is locked down to friends and friends of friends. Uh, re religious and political views, same way, but like family and relationships, interested in everyone. Education and work, people know where you can work or where you're going to school. Uh, this could be particularly dangerous, you know, especially if you have uh, teenagers or something like that in your house and you know you don't want anybody trying to stalk in them or something like that you don't want this information exposed to everybody uh, you also have your post by you and stuff like that like you know we put in what am i doing for the day and stuff like that and and that's the stuff you, you just don't want that information out on the internet for everybody to actually see so what you want to do is you want to make sure these are set to only friends so just go right down the line uh even on your birthday you know what only friends because you know we want to lock this down because we know if it's only friends it's only people you know can ha can see that information so you're actually not allowing friends or friends and the reason why we say that is because if you have five friends right and you give them all access well each of them have five friends right so now instead of only five people with access you have 25 people with access so you actually want to keep that information kind of private political and, and religious views Again, we're just going to set that to only friends, family, and relationship. I can't believe they would allow that to anybody on the Internet. Again, only friends. Education and workplace, only friends. Videos, photos and videos of you, friends of friends. Uh, I'm glad they at least put it on there instead of everybody. Again, this is something we think only friends. Uh, the reason why we say that is because most people don't understand nowadays that employers and, and schools look, at, look for Facebook accounts. You know, they will look on there, and if you're 18 or 19, and you're trying to get a job somewhere, and they look at your profile and say you have a can of beer or something in your hand, there, you know, there was a recent study that came out and said 80% of companies have turned down an app, uh, an applicant because of pictures they saw on the Facebook page. So again, just lock that information down. Don't let people see that. A post by you. Again, I don't want everybody to see what I'm saying. So, <clears throat> only friends. Post by friends. Um, you know, again, we are just going to go only friends here. Uh, Tuss, everything. I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Tuss, only friends is, is the best option on this page. Now, the one other thing that's actually hidden here is on photo albums. If you click on edit settings, we don't actually have um, 
a photo album set up so basically we have nothing to set up uh, you can see that oops I started that I just clicked out of that but if you have like photo album set up here by default it's set on friends friends and and friends so you want to change that to only friends again you don't want everybody to see all your photos so we're gonna go ahead and once, once we've got all this set we're gonna look at this and make sure it's actually correct so again I want to change that to only friends uh, only friends is all the way down and that's exactly what we want to have uh, for our Facebook settings so we're gonna click on back to privacy now we're going to contact information now this is actually very good these are pretty good settings here and we do like this what Facebook has done like your IM screen name only friends mobile phone number other phone numbers current address and stuff like that only friends that's exactly what you want um, you know if you have a website or something like that you can have that open to everyone or if you you know your Facebook lets you put your own URL in, you can allow that so uh, add me as a friend uh, we're okay with leaving this as everyone because as long as you have like your pictures and your private information set to only friends uh, if somebody sees your profile, all they can see is your name and, and your profile picture. And that's all they're going to be able to see. And then they can add you as a friend. You can confirm it. And then they'll have access to your profile. But we don't really have a problem with that. So um, send me a message, everyone. Again, this we're kind of okay with this. Um, we've had people tell us that they like this option because people, you know, they went to high school with or something like that they haven't seen in 10 years found them on Facebook and sent them a message and if you were to lock this out they wouldn't be able to contact you in any other way so again this is just going to be an email to you it's not going to expose your email address or anything like that so we're okay with that um, and as you can see it says if you want your email address only friends that's perfectly fine here uh, the only thing you know if you want to lock down you can lock down your website add me as a friend and send me a message these are all very good security settings built in by default by Facebook. If you want to switch those to only friends, it's up to you. But we actually find these acceptable. So we're going to go back now again. And now what we're going to do is look at the applications and websites. Again, most people don't even know this is actually here. In fact, 95% of people we've talked to don't realize uh, these are actually more security settings inside of here. Uh, you know, when you do what what you, what you share, if you click on learn more, it basically just kind of gives you some information. Uh, we just like to leave this alone. What your friends can share about you, this is this is a big concern of ours. We don't like this. Control what your friends can share about you when using applications and websites. So you click on edit settings here, and then we're going to kind of read through this. It says when your friends visit a Facebook enhanced application or website. They may want to share certain information to make the experience more social. For example, a greeting card application may use your birthday information prompting you to prompt your friend to send a card. If your friend uses the application you do not, you can control what types of information the application can access. So, basically it's telling you that if your friend has just an application running on their profile, that application can go onto your profile and look at all this information personal information status online website education videos photos videos birthday and in my hometown now no I mean this is just a big no in our in our opinion here uh, I don't care if a friend of mine plays a game on Facebook or or is into those greeting cards and stuff like that I'm not so I don't want those applications to be able to go onto my profile and view my information that's not what I want to have happen and this is basically what it's telling you is that if your friend is subscribed to an application that application can go onto your profile look through your information and and customize maybe an email campaign or games directed at you uh, this is just a big no-no again in our opinion so we recommend turning all of this off we don't want them to get any kind of information we don't want them to have if there's a game or something I want to play, I'll go ahead and find it. I don't need to have Facebook or any third party sending me this information. So we're going to click on Save Changes. And then we're going to head back again. And then Activity and Applications on, 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 game, on Games and Dashboards Only Friends. That's exactly what we want. We only want our friends to be able to view this information. So 
But basically, this is a quick rundown of the Facebook security settings here. Again, this is a brand new profile, but it doesn't matter if you've been on Facebook for two weeks, ten weeks, two years, or an hour. These settings are all the same. Every Facebook user needs to go in here and actually check these settings and make sure they're set correctly. Because uh, you don't want your information exposed to everybody on the internet. Again, it's so again. You know, this is just uh, Scott here from uh, InternetSafetyCenter.com here. Again, we want to give you a brief overview of the security settings and how your Facebook profile should be set up to maximize Internet safety and security for you. Uh, you know what? Check out any of our other videos, and if you have any other questions or comments, please email me at Scott at InternetSafetyCenter.com. Thanks, and have a good day.